My name is Alex, and this is the story of the unforgettable spring break when I became Amanda. It all started when my dear friend Amy came to me with a unique request. Alex, she said, her eyes filled with excitement, I've been planning this spring break trip for months, but Samantha got sick and can't make it. I've already booked a double room, and boys aren't allowed in the girls' dorms. Can you help me out? I know your secret. Amy was referring to my cross-dressing. For years, I'd kept this part of me hidden from the world. Only a few close friends, including Amy, knew about my alter ego, Amanda. I'd never ventured outside dressed as a girl, but Amy's request was too tempting to resist. After some hesitation, I agreed, and Amanda was born. Amy helped me pick out a wardrobe, and soon, I was transformed into her ideal companion for the trip. It was nerve-wracking at first, but I was determined to make this adventure memorable. We arrived at the spring break destination, and the excitement was palpable. Amy and Amanda were ready for a week of sun, sand, and fun. We quickly made friends with the other spring breakers, and no one suspected my true identity. The highlight of our trip was the pool party. Amy and Amanda donned matching pink bikinis, feeling like stars as we danced by the pool. The music was loud, the atmosphere electric, and I couldn't believe how liberating it felt to be Amanda, dancing with my friend and fellow partygoers. As the night went on, a charismatic guy named Jake invited us to join him on stage. Without hesitation, we climbed up and danced our hearts out. The crowd cheered, and I lost myself in the moment, feeling beautiful and free. Our spring break adventure continued with Amy and Amanda taking on various exciting activities. Every day brought new opportunities for fun and bonding, and we made the most of our time together. One day, we decided to explore the local markets. Amy, with her infectious enthusiasm, led the way, and Amanda was right there beside her, hand in hand. We haggled with street vendors, picked out quirky souvenirs, and tasted exotic street food. It felt like we were living in a dream, and I was grateful for the chance to share it with my best friend. The next day, we embarked on an adrenaline-pumping adventure. We went zip-lining through the lush jungle canopy, our hearts pounding with excitement as we soared through the treetops. Amy's laughter echoed through the forest, and Amanda couldn't stop smiling as we conquered our fears together. Our evenings were filled with beach bonfires and impromptu dance parties. Amy and Amanda became known as the life of the party, and we relished every moment of our newfound freedom. It was incredible how easily I slipped into the role of Amanda, and it made me appreciate the beauty of being true to oneself, no matter the circumstances. As the days passed, Amy and Amanda grew even closer. We confided in each other about our hopes and dreams, fears and insecurities. The bond we shared deepened, and I realized that our spring break adventure was about more than just cross-dressing, it was about the unbreakable friendship we had built. One evening, as we strolled along the moonlit beach, Amy turned to me and said, Amanda, I can't thank you enough for being here with me. You've made this trip incredible. I smiled, feeling the warmth of her words. Amy, it's been a once-in-a-lifetime experience, and I'm grateful to have shared it with you. Our spring break adventure had come to an end, but the memories we had created would last a lifetime. We returned home with a deeper connection, a greater appreciation for each other, and a secret bond that would forever link Amy and Amanda in a world of unforgettable moments and cherished experiences.